Jack Whitaker. Welcome to a very special edition of Shell's Wonderful World of Golf. We're coming to you from New Zealand, and we're honored to have in our gallery the Prime Minister of this lovely country, the Honorable Helen Clark. Prime Minister, welcome. Thank you very much. Our match today is between Fred Couples of the United States and Michael Camel of New Zealand. Freddie, this is your eighth appearance. We keep taking you further away from home. Well, this is some spot here. I've thoroughly enjoyed being here a couple days, and to play Mike in his home country is going to be a lot of fun. I think so, too. And Michael Kiora, welcome. We are welcome to Shell's wonderful world of golf. Thank you very much. I'm very really excited about today. Obviously, my first time I've played in this series, so I'm looking forward to it. Well, we're looking forward to a tremendous match on this marvelous golf course. Our referee today, Richard Ellis, president of the New Zealand PGA. Morning, Jack. Morning, Prime Minister. Morning. Welcome, Freddie, to New Zealand. Morning, Michael. Um, today we're going to play 18-hole stroke play under the uh, rules of uh, the Royal and Ancient Golf Club of St Andrews. If the, in the event of a tie at the end of the, the match, the match will be a draw. The Prime Minister, I believe, has a coin. Hopefully it's the right thing for you, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you'd like to toss, and uh, Freddie, as the visitor, will uh, we'll make the call. I'll call heads. Answer and it's one. tails. So, Michael, <laughs> Michael, you make the call. Who gets the honor? I'll go first. All right, Michael to hit first. Prime Minister, thank you. Gentlemen, play away. The first hole at Cowrie Cliffs is a welcoming par four, 439 yards downhill. Good tee shot would be left center of the fairway. Single bunker on the left guarding this green and today the hole is cut in the middle. Michael to play first. And this one going off to the right. Now Fred Couples. Freddie has it where you should have it, right down the middle. This golf course was opened in 2001 and designed by the Florida-based architect David Harmon, par 72, a little over 7,100 yards, and the course record is 69. The money today, $150,000 to the winner. The runner-up gets $100,000. A tie will result in an even split. And working with me once again, my colleague Jennifer Bean, former All-American at the University of Southern California. And Jennifer, I bet back in those solid days of university golf, you never saw a golf course like this. I've never, ever seen a golf course like this, and it just keeps getting better and better for Shell's wonderful world of golf. Our champion today is going to be the player that can keep his focus on the game and not be distracted by these amazing views of Kari Cliffs. Oh, that is very true. So let's pick up the action now with the second shots on the first hole. Jack, Michael drove it well right of the fairway here, but the ball is sitting up, except he has absolutely no view of the green. This is a four iron. Oh, and it's come out very fast. And over the green he goes. Rather cool overcast day here, and a little wind, as you see, with the flag stick at number one, as Freddie gets ready for his second. And a little short, a little balloon job there, maybe, huh? Well, a good way to start off, though. Got to button the hat up. Here in the cliffs. Could have hit a six like that. Went nowhere. Mm -hmm. Well, Jennifer, what's Michael got? Well, it doesn't look like it, but Michael's actually drawn a pretty good lie here. The difficulty is going to be judging the speed of the green. 
a shot. Go. Well, he left a little short there, Jennifer. And he'll have a little work to do to get par. Now Freddie for birdie. Okay. Both of them have got a little work left, Jack. Yes. Okay. Both putting for par now. About eight feet downhill. Yeah, nicely in. Yeah, nice spot, Mike. Way to go. Thank you. Thanks, Freddie. And now Fred. Pretty basic four foot putt for par. Oh my. So Fred with a beautiful drive takes bogey. And Michael after missing the fairway makes par. They're at the second tee and Michael has it. A good drive here should be hit just inside the bunkers on the right. He's got driver. Got. Yeah, that's a lot better than the first hole, although I don't think he's on the fairway, is he? Well, the Kiwis liked it, though. He's a little left. Now Freddie. Also with the driver. That looks perfect. And perfect it is. That's the shot he has left. And the wind to feature here in the early going. Stand still, please. Thank you. It's like a three quarter one. That's it. <laughs> 130 yards with a pitching wedge. It may just jump out of the rough a little bit here. It's a lovely shot. Oh, whoa, come down. Yes, and Michael's got a great following here. He's the uh, touring pro from Cowery Cliffs. And a lot of his countrymen are out here rooting him on. Now Fred. After a perfect tee shot, 118 yards. Easy. Easy. And it did come in easy, yep. didn't it? Lovely shot there by Freddie. And a chance to get one back. Yep. Michael's got a little over 20 feet down the hill. Ball should move a little right to left. A little. <laughs> a lot. Five. Joey. The greens are pure. They're pretty good. Well, it would seem that Michael knows these greens anyway, doesn't he? And with the t condition of this golf course, these guys will have every opportunity to make birdies today. Just about five feet for his birdie. Yeah. Wow. There he goes. These greens are, you know, are so good. Yes, when you make putts like that, they're good, aren't they? <laughs> well, Fred with a birdie here at two evens the match. Both players at even par. And we move now to the third hole, Jennifer. This is a great short hole with a wide open fairway and a lot of choices off the tee. Players can either take a driver or a long iron or fairway wood with a premium on being in the middle of the fairway. The green is guarded on the left by two big trees and on the right, one single bunker. What's that window in Spanish right across? A little bit of help? Well, Jennifer, both players did hit the fairway. 
big slope right here. And let's see what they do with their second shots. Michael's got 105 yards. Doesn't appear to be much wind right now. This is the sand wedge. Prime Minister, when we first come to your lovely country, we're impressed by its beauty. The second time, by the passion your people have for being outdoors. We do love the outdoors, and we've got the best place in the world to be out there, whether it's hiking, skiing, kayaking, abseiling, you name it. You find a lot of the world is going to come here for that. Do you like that? We like it. We have to aim at the top end of the market because if you're going to keep what's really special about New Zealand, you don't want many, many millions of people tramping over it. But the high value end of the tourism market is very important. Well, thank you very much and enjoy this match, please. Thank you. Freddie was just a few yards oh, in front bite. of where Michael's ball was. And it looked like he capitalized on watching Michael's shot. See, now that, I think I'd have done better just forgetting the slope and hitting it. Well, now both players for birdie. 30 feet uphill. And Michael's wife looking on very interestedly. Julie's actually from Sydney. No, I'm not a foot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two pars at the third hole. And this competition remains even. Welcome back to Shell's wonderful world of golf, where some of the gallery are trying to get a better view of this fourth hole. And on the tee, Freddie Couples. Freddie's got driver on this good, strong par five, which may be reachable in two today. Oh, God, darn it. Plug. I don't know why he's so upset. Not a bad shot at all. Not a bad shot, but probably not reachable in two with that. Yeah. Michael. <laughs> Pulling you, Freddie. I'm right next right, to you. Right by you, mate. I don't. Well, he's right in the fairway anyway. I don't think either of them are. And now let's go down to Jennifer, right. who's with some very special guests. I have the great pleasure of being with the 2003 America's Cup champions, Team Alenghi. Hi. Ernesto, Hi. nice to have you out here. Yeah, it's uh, really fun to be here. I love this course. I've played it a few times, but uh, never as good as, as these guys. <laughs> Pretty fun to watch. Russell, how's your golf game? Uh, it's, it's coming along, but uh, we'll have a bit more time to play golf now. So uh, it, watching these guys is fantastic. Well, it's an honor having you guys out here. Congratulations again. Thank you. Isn't it amazing how all sportsmen, no matter what their sport is, are attracted to golf? So true, Jack. Here's Michael's second shot. He's just laying up here with a three iron. That's perfect. As little as I played here, I know that's perfect. <laughs> It's a very narrow place where Michael just hit that. But he's also got a three iron. I'm sure he's disappointed he's not trying to reach the screen in two today. Got a left, huh? Side by side. Look like semicolons, don't they? That's what they have left. Third shot to this par five. Michael to go first. 
He's got a little bit of an awkward stance here. From 98 yards, this is a sand wedge. He's pulled it, Jack. Oh, no, not there, Michael. Oh. I think it's come straight back at you on the angle. Okay, 95. 95 is right to it. And the familiar voice of Joey LaCava, Freddie's longtime caddy. Joey's seen the world with Freddie on this show, Jack. Essentially the same shot Michael had. Stay there. Stop. And Stop. much closer Stop. to Michael. Well, Michael two putted for par, and now here is Freddie Couples for birdie. Oh. So a par for Fred and a par for Michael. And at the end of four holes, the competition is all even. T at the fifth hole. We've reached our first par three, called Boomerang, 194 yards with a severe drop off on the right. The players aren't gonna wanna be short here. This is a six iron. strong for Fred. Jack, this hole is playing downwind, but a little uphill. Really difficult to stop the ball. Michael also with the six iron. Two good swings, but just impossible to stop the ball today. No chance today, huh? Maybe we should have tried a different shot. A what breeze, he calls it. <laughs> Doesn't feel like a breeze. Uh. Time for a little flop shot here. It's going to be very fast when the ball hits the green. Oh, wow. Well done. Look at that. Just to get it within. Ten feet. Why wouldn't I just hit it here and let it go? That's the only play. <laughs> huh? That's the only play. It's a no-brainer. No flop shot for Freddie, huh? A little more conventional approach. Just wants to get it on the green, start it rolling. It was that pretty. Right shot. Oh, oh, oh pretty. <laughs> Very nice, huh? Very nice. Joey knows what he's talking about, Jack. Nice shot there, Freddie. Well, as good as you, you uh, couldn't hit yours any better. No, no, but yours was fantastic. Well, well done. Well played. Mutual admiration society. Now Michael for par. Uphill, about six feet. Oh. Bogey four. <coughs> oh, Freddie for par. Yes. Marvelous second Thanks. shot. Earns a par for Freddie Couples. He takes a one-shot lead in this competition over Michael Campbell. Now the sixth hole, 405 yards, par four, uphill to the ocean. Yes. Thanks, Mike. He is swinging great today. Looks completely relaxed. Another picture perfect drive. Yep. 
Now, Michael. Michael's opted for the fairway metal. No, he's missed this right. Little, been a little errand off the tee today, hasn't he, Michael? He's going to leave himself with a very difficult approach here. When you're, you know, 50 years old, will you come back here and live? I think so, yeah. If yeah. so. For the for what you get for the prices of the you know the land is so cheap here. But I think just through the exposure of the Americans Cup we've had here for the last four or five years, you know, the um, prices of of land has actually gone up about three percent. Look, 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 see this? Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, we were with the camera guys the other day and we were just laughing. Where do you get that? You know. <laughs> Only in New Zealand. You <laughs> got that right. Al Michael. This is not a particularly good lie. 147 yards with a nine iron. Oh, well. That rough must be a little tougher than it looks, huh? Oh, it's... What's the total, Joey? One of seven is the total. Oh, please. Now, Freddie, he's driven at 30 yards past Michael, 107 yards uphill and into the breeze. He also has a nine iron. Get so smooth. Down. A great shot, Jack. Oh, I don't know where to go, Finchie. You get that divot? Yeah. Now Michael for his third shot. And he's got a terrible lie here. Hasn't left himself much to get up and down. Shot, shot. It's about all he could do from there, Jack. Well, both players two putted this sixth green. Fred for par. Michael for another bogey to fall two shots behind. We're at the seventh tee as we look at a couple of picnickers here. We've reached our second par three called Cavelli, and it's a long one, 210 yards, but today it's playing downwind. Oh, you have to have the right club here because <laughs> there's trouble if you don't hit the green. Well, Freddie's got a six iron. like our first par three. Downwind, as you can Back see. <clears throat> see if Michael learned anything from this. I mean, I don't want to say, I... Could I have hit a seven there? No. <gasps> Michael's taking one club more. No. Great shot. Both balls went in the front <laughs> of the green, but difficult to stop. Yeah, well, the wind makes a difference. The wind makes it real golf. First to putt will be Michael. This is at least 35 feet. Oh, Freddie giving the directions there, huh? Like it's going to break to the left. Downhill, but a little bit into the wind. Come on. Whoa. It's a lovely putt. It, there's not been much wrong with his putter today, huh? Great spot. <sighs> Go ahead, Mike. No, no problem. No problem? Sure. No problem. Great putt. <laughs> Far for Michael.
Freddie with a very similar putt to Michael's. Mm. And a similar result. Nice putt there, Freddie. Thanks. So both players par the seventh hole. And Fred still enjoys a two-stroke lead. It's would come to the eighth. A par five, 539 yards. And downwind today, a great tee shot, and this green is reachable in two. But a very precise shot is needed on your second shot with those greenside bunkers guarding the green on the left. Our hole location is in the very front. And the tee location is right on the edge of the Pacific Ocean. As Fred Couples gets ready to hit. And I give him credit just for being able to concentrate on this shot. Doesn't get much prettier than this, Jack. Sure doesn't. Freddie just playing for position here. Well, that's a pretty good position. Don't look out, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> now, Michael. And he's pushed this way right. Oh, oh, oh Michael. It looks like he's fighting a swing now, Jack. <laughs> and here he is. From the right rough, and this is no bargain. He's got a terrible lie. Just wants to get it back in the fairway. And a great recovery. And the wind picks up a little bit. Advantage Freddie, 237 yards. That was a four iron. Got to take a bounce left. There it is. There it is indeed. <laughs> four iron. Downwind, though, but still rather impressive. Come on, fellas. You're 14, 15 years, 16 years old. How old are you? You got an old man walking quicker than you guys. Come on, Dwight. Let's, let's get him going here. I don't look at that thumb. You don't want to do that. Wear gloves. I. I you know, I'll take care. You find me after the round. I'll have something. Four. You know, don't. You don't have to ask twice. I just have to. When you see the guys in the blue hats, see the tailor-made guys over there. You know who they are. You tell them that you're good for something after the round. All right. Just don't be bashful. Oh, Freddie, making young fans. Wherever he goes, he does it. Now Michael's third shot, and he needs to hit a good one. Now Michael, a long one. Very delicate downhill putt. Woo. Man, he does know nice these touch. greens. Very nice. Now, Freddie. Just off the green for Eagle.
Come on. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, I think he'll be happy with that birdie. He gets him under par and three shots ahead of Michael Campbell. Back at the golf course, we've come to the ninth hole, a 386-yard par four, and every yard is uphill. Clearing this chasm is no problem. The premium is the middle of this fairway. I expect to see a couple birdies today. And Freddie with the driver. Always fun to watch. Certainly swinging well today, isn't it? He is, but it looks like he's missed it a little bit to the right. Huh? Laugh. As soon as you say something, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> and now Michael with a three wood. Just fighting a swing a little bit. That's perfect. 230 to carry that chasm. It looks perfect. Perfect. A good swing and he needed one. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now this has been a very lively gallery. Very athletic. This is a lot, a lot of hills on this course. Speaking of hills, we've got Uphill, 123 yards. The wind is helping him here. Golf shot. Oh, oh, lovely shot. Great way to finish Golf up the front nine. Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven yards, huh? Well, he's got a little bit of a hanging lie. I would say, look at the stance he has to have. Yeah, huh? the ball tends to go left off this. <laughs> Gotta go. Oh, it looks terrific. <laughs> Beautiful shot by both players. That's a good shot off that line for me. <laughs> Can you get up top? Ready for birdie. Sure. Yes, sir. Second yeah. one in a row. Thanks, Mike. Knock it in. Yeah, went right where you may have gone. I saw left on one side, right middle, right side. May have gone right. Jack, he needs us to sustain the match. Yeah, he's got to keep in touch. He doesn't want to get too far behind. Oh. Oh, that's got to be disappointing. Very much so. Michael gets par here at the nine hole. Okay, Mike, bad luck. And after nine holes of play, Michael Campbell with two bogeys and no birdies for a 38. Freddie Couples, one bogey and three birdies for a 34 and a four shot lead. Now let's go down to Jennifer and the players. Two birdies to finish off this front nine. You're off to a good start. Well, it was. It was a good nine. Uh, it's a very, very good golf course, but I hit the ball in most of the fairway. Started with a little niche on one with a three putt, but then turned around and birdied the next, and as you said, birdied eight nine to get a good nine. Terrific. Michael, got a little work to do on the back nine. What do you, what do you need to get done? At least uh, three or four birdies, I think, the back nine. It's going to be tough against Freddie. He's playing quite well, so I'm four behind, but you never know. Yeah, we got the crowd behind you. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> well, let's go get it, guys. One man is behind Cowery Cliffs, Julian Robertson. And while he made his fortune on Wall Street, now his first foray into golf development is bringing him a whole new reputation. I'm not overly modest, but um, uh, it's hard for me to really say how I feel. And I really feel that this land is the most beautiful in anywhere on earth, and it's a real privilege to be here. And he'll start at the 10th, 364 yards, par four. From an elevated tee, this is a short par four, drivable on some days, beautifully bunkered, and downhill. 
Today, both players will probably lay up. The whole location, right in the middle of the green. And you get some idea of the elevation changes here. This tee is way up, and Freddie Couples will be first to hit. Freddie's got a three iron. Position is key. That's it. Perfect. Thanks. Nice way to start off, Jack. Sure is. Now well, let's see if Michael can get something happening. Michael's got his five wood. It looks perfect. Shot, first cut, way. <laughs> first cut. Friday's first. He's got a lob wedge here. Wind's a little bit behind him. 103 yards. Bite. Oh, Very nice. That's some spin on it. Not enough, complaining. Now Michael. Also with an L wedge. This looks good, Jack. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> good. He started the back nine off in style. Well, that's what we said he had to do. He must have hurt us. <laughs> Eagle two for Michael Camel. Moving off, moving off over the green somewhere. Great shot. Wow. I needed that one, I tell you. <laughs> Great shot. That was awesome. You don't see many of those. Right in the jar. Exactly what this gallery wanted to see today. Absolutely. Listen to them. Thank you. <laughs> Just watch it again. Textbook. Beautifully controlled swing there. Bingo. And that's how you get along. Eagle two for Michael Campbell. Well, you've got the back nine off to a great start. <laughs> what can I say? It's a perfect start for me. Obviously, he had a great start, and probably my second shot on the par four was a wonderful start. Well, the crowd loved it. Keep it going. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Now, Freddie, who had a beautiful second shot in here himself, this for birdie. And at one point, had a four-shot lead, but now down to two. Whoa, so Freddie settles for par here, and Michael makes up two shots with a brilliant eagle two at the 10th hole. One of the preferred methods of travel in New Zealand is by helicopter. During his stay at Cowrie Cliffs, Freddie was treated to a personal helicopter tour by our host, Julian Robertson. Isn't this a beautiful beach? Yes. That's Matauri Bay Beach. All this bush here, this native bush, is full of um, wild pigs and um, a, a lot of turkey in there as well. Never seen anything quite like it. Look at the little beach. And we've never seen anything quite like it. As from the helicopter, you see some of the amazing beauty. That'll do it. Did you get that? Did you get it? I, don't, I figured you wouldn't miss that. You missed that, and we're, we we got to go do it again until he makes it. <laughs> right? Oh, Freddie, wondering if our cameraman and director got Michael's hole out at the 10th hole. We sure did. And here he is on the tee, just two shots behind. 
And the first time since the second hole that Michael's had the tee. Well done. That was his three wood. Oh, boy. Whoa, whoa. He's got it going now, Jack. He sure does. It's funny what something like that will do for your confidence, isn't it? Huh? You hear the wind kicking up now. Really gusty up on this tee. But he's also got a three wood. Come there, come there. Big bounce. Uh, big bounce it gets. Both players in good shape. They have to come over this marsh. They have to have the right club selection here for their second shots, and they're downwind again. Oh, Michael. 127 yards. Sand wedge and the wind's behind him. Nope. Oh. And his gallery appreciates it. So hard to judge this wind, huh? The wind's getting strong now. Yes, the wind has picked I don't up. Mind it. Have a little fun. Yeah, I agree. Plenty. Plenty. Throw up a chunk of grass. I mean, it looks like you just hit that one with ordinary last hole. Right. You hit this full, that was the front. Okay. What is it to the front? 106 is the front. Got to be blown. After much discussion with Joey, it's a 60 degree wedge to this island green. And it looks good. <laughs> just over. Good job, Freddie. Thanks, Mike. That hopped up. It's as hard as I can hit it. It looked like it flew 104, right? Yeah. One yard short. Al Michael from the back. For birdie, but a very difficult putt. He just wants to get this close. Oh, go, 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 go. Well, bright speed again, huh? Now Freddy for birdie. Very makeable from here, heading right uphill. Wow. Oh. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. How nicely done. Jeez, these greens are. They're so pure. Oh. Now Freddy loves the greens again. How can you not? <laughs> and with the birdie here, takes the three-shot lead over Michael Campbell. And with these very interested onlookers, we come now to the par three 12th hole. 170 yards, hole location is on the back tier, and we're still downwind. This is a seven iron. Not his best, Jack. No. Stay out of the water. And still rolling. All right. Here is the course architect, the David Harmon. And what a job he has done here. Magnificent. Also with a seven iron. Good. Mm -hmm. Hole high. That's Freddie now. There's a mile and a half away. At least. <laughs> Straight uphill. Oh, look at this. Pretty good.
Got a little work left. Al Michael. Within striking distance. Oh, oh. oh. Another fine putt, though. Freddie's work isn't done yet on this hole. This is for par. Thanks, Mike. But Thank safely in. Both players then making par here at the 12th hole. And Fred Couples, three shots ahead. Both players part the par for 13th hole. Well, look what you found here. Beautiful, beautiful ocean again. How do you concentrate with this view? It's very hard to, really, isn't it? To concentrate on your game, you've got uh, views like this. It's just incredible, incredible stuff. You think you're going to go back to New Zealand anytime soon? I hope. I hope uh, I can talk Tice into coming since she misses time and coming back for a little vacation because, as Michael said, that is some shot with the islands and the little bit of uh, beaches they have set in here where you can go swimming. That's right up my alley. Well, we hope to get back soon. We all have to get back soon. It's like a combination of Bally Bunyan and Pebble Beach. And the wind is still with us as we come here now to the 14th hole. Par three. 207 yards downhill. The wind now in the player's face. A beautiful but treacherous shot. <laughs> Pushed it right in the bunker. First bunker. You know, I got blocked out by the people, but I don't think it got over. I'm going to leave him a long yeah. bunker shot. Now, Michael. Also with the three iron. What a sight. That's uh, too high. Too high. Looked like it ballooned on him a little bit. Oh. Not, not. Just on the edge, getting a long way from the hole. <laughs> So this little par three, uh, giving them a little right, trouble right. so far off the tee. Now uh, Freddie second. Very difficult long bunker shot here. The location is on that second tier. Well, we got it up. Still has a little work left. Now, Michael for birdie. A putt equally the same distance as Fred's long bunker shot. Go, go. They'll both have a little work here for their par. Scallery's hung with us all day, Jack. Sure have, haven't they? <laughs> okay, Freddie. Right on the edge of the ocean. About eight feet. Well, a little misread there, huh? Uh -huh. Didn't come back. Now this for bogey. And that drops him to two under par. Yep. It's not getting in. Now Michael for a par and to get back to within two shots of Fred. Well yes. done. He's hanging in tough, Jack. Keep oh, good. Yes, he's still in contact. Good putt. Thanks. At the end of 14 holes, Fred Couples two shots ahead of Michael Campbell. 544 yards and a more beautiful golf hole you'll never see. With the premium being a very accurate tee shot, trouble on the left and trouble on the right.
This par five is normally reachable in two, but today the wind is in the player's face and it's gonna be a three shot hole. Our hole location is tucked back left. It certainly is one of the most dramatic holes on this most dramatic golf course. And the cliffs on the left, and trouble on the right, and Michael Campbell on the tee. Continues to leave the driver in his bag. This is three wood. Well done. He's got it going now, Jack. Sure does. Perfect tee shot. Now, Freddie, also with a three wood. You can see the flag behind him to tell you what kind of wind he's hitting right into. And he's pushed this right towards our gallery. Four right. Well. Uh, wow, well, looks like he's going to be okay. Yeah. I'm here with David Harmon, the architect of this magnificent golf course. And David, the best compliment you can give a golf architect is to say that this course looks like it's been here forever. And I say that to you. Well, Jack, that was our goal from the first day I ever came up over this hill and looked down here. It's a, it's a dream come true for somebody in, in my profession. It's, uh, there were six holes, seven holes laying here that just, we did nothing but build the greens and tees. It was, it's, that's a great experience. There was a few holes we had to move a lot of dirt, but not many. And uh, a lot of people say that, so that's, that, you're right. That is a great compliment, and it's a great compliment to my guys that build it, too. They did a fantastic job. Do you feel any more pressure when you see a great piece of land like this? Well, it works both ways. You know you have an opportunity to do something very special, but you have a big obligation not to take something that nature did and try and make it look contrived or keep adding silly things, and, and that's easy to do. You can always make golf courses too hard. You can add more bunkers, more walls, more whatever you can dream up that day. I think a true test is whether or not you can use what nature gave you and turn it into something like you see here. You've done a magnificent job. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming out. Magnificent it is, Jack. We continue to be awed as we progress from hole to hole. Can they move back? Yeah, I'm going to hit it. Louie, you know where I'm going to hit it right over him with a big <laughs> hook. <laughs> Jack, he's got a three wood. Just wants to get it back in position here and leave himself a simple shot. Yeah, the hook he was talking about, wasn't it? <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it. What a hole. Wow. Okay. That'll set up perfect. That's good, isn't it? Michael. Playing a little more conservatively. This is a three iron. It's very nice. Perfect. Well, you were right, Jennifer. This is a three shotter today and a very honest one. Michael. 115 yards. He's got a little bit of a downhill lie. Hold, 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 hold. Looks like he caught that a bit thin. Well, hold high. Oh, she's windy now, isn't she? God. Now Freddie's third shot with the pitching wedge. Got a tricky downhill lie, but he's made these look easy all day. Let's see if he can do it again. Go. He didn't do bad, Jennifer. Oh. No. <laughs> Looks terrific, Jack. Yep. Man. 
Now Michael for birdie from off the green. Once again, great speed. <sighs> Definitely knows the greens, but needs a few more to drop. Now, or birdie. Oh, yes. Played the perfect game. Yep. that. You don't Wait have it. to get on par fives and two to get birdie all the time. And Fred now goes back to a three-shot lead over Michael Campbell after 15 holes. Welcome back to Cowrie Cliffs. We are at the 16th hole, a beautiful par four that winds down to the sea. And on the tee, Freddie Couples, who has a three-shot lead. What are you thinking? Where to go or club? Well, yeah, I know it's got to be this, right? Yeah. Well, maybe he's gonna go for the green. Let's take a look at the 16th hole, Jennifer. They call this hole temptation, and you can see why. Playing only 353 yards today, it's downhill but into the breeze. The players have a choice. They can hit driver and try to drive the green, or with all that trouble lurking on the left, they can play the smarter shot. And Freddie's got driver. Always fun to watch. And it's going left. Yep. Not quite what he had in mind, Jack. I don't think so. But he had to try it. Hopefully he'll find it. It's not bounced. <laughs> now let's see what Michael will do. Again with his three wood. Uh-huh, smart. Out to the right put it, Michael, huh? And that's shot. fine. That leaves him a very nice second shot. I'm with the owners of Cowrie Cliffs, Josie and Julian Robertson. And Julian, I want to ask you this. When you bought this property, did you say, I have to build a golf course on it? Or did you say the property told me I had to build a golf course? <laughs> I think the property commanded it, Jack. Uh, this is a magnificent country. The scenery here is spectacular. It was all here, and David Harmon just sort of put it together, and we're awfully proud of the way it looks today. Well, you had the vision. Congratulations. And Josie, thank you very much for your hospitality. Thank you, Jack. And now Michael's second shot. 102 yards downhill into the wind. This is his pitching wedge. Just off the green to the rear. A little bit of a miscue there. Well, could have been worse. It could have been in the ocean. <laughs> and here's Freddie with a little trouble, huh? He actually doesn't have too bad of a lie here, except the grass is up against the back of his ball. And no one's paying attention to him. He's got about 50 yards. He just wants to get this on the green and protect that three-shot lead. Oh. <laughs> and he gets it on the green, I'm... but he's got a long way to go. It's easier from the fairways. Where to go? Next county. Am I rolling it? I'm dead, <laughs> but rolling it. Golly. Well, the architect and the owner looking on as Freddie gets ready to putt. And he's got about 60 feet for birdie. He just wants to get this close. Long downhill, right to left putt. Good Lord. 
Still got a little work left. Uh, Michael? Pretty straightforward pitch for the Lofton Club. Whoa! Wynn got it. <laughs> Almost did it again. And he needed it. Oh, I thought I had it there. Great shot. Oh, oh man. That was close, huh? Just went, whew, it went sideways there. It, no, it did. It went. Great try. <laughs> so a par for Michael Campbell. Come here. Take another look at this lovely shot. Ooh, just at the last second. Cruel game, Michael, cruel game. Now Freddie for par to keep his three-shot lead. Hey, good part there, well okay. done. And that's why he uses the belly putter. So at the end of 16 holes, it's Fred Couples by three over Michael Campbell. We're back at Corey Cliffs, where we have two holes to play, and Fred Couples enjoys a three-shot lead and testing the wind that's been with us all day long. Let's take a look, Jennifer, at this 17th hole. At 472 yards, this is one of the most scenic, yet one of the most difficult par fours on the golf course. The players have a choice. They can play up the right-hand side, which makes the hole significantly longer, or they can bite a little more yardage off by going on the left and leaving themselves with a much shorter iron in. Our hole location is back of the green today. And this hole is gonna play long, especially into the wind. Freddie with a driver and he's pushed it way right. Oh, Jesus. Well, look at it go. Jack, is he trying to win this match? I don't know. <laughs> That looks like it's uh, unprintable. Well, we'll go wow. find it. Lone guy. Is that where you thought that was going to go? Well, I said don't kill him, but I think it's going to go, go, go right to him, though. Just because it went so across more than in. And now Michael Campbell with a little window of opportunity in front of him. He's got to take advantage of it. We're seeing his driver for the first time since the fourth hole. Oh. And he's hit a good one. Shot, I believe. Almost hit the four caddy. <laughs> Too straight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, how's Freddie doing, Jennifer? Well, the good news is, is he's found his golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> and the bad news? Well, he's got to find a way just to get the club on the ball here. Just get it back in the fairway. Oh, yeah. He's done it. That's <laughs> out of here, though, isn't it? <laughs> Look at this stuff. How did it sit? It's, it's a four feet deep. Oh. Oh, yeah, just pure strength. <laughs> pure strength. <laughs> and you're just short of the green. Is that right? Did it get there? No, that's what the spotter is doing. Fairway. Fairway, though, that's a good sign. I'm not, I don't know how many more times I can hit out of this stuff. Michael also with an awkward lie. He took the aggressive line, but still he's got a 205 yards out. That was a seven iron. So deep, rough. It came out soft, didn't it, Spudge? He's a shooter. Uh oh, Freddie's third shot. 140 yards. Will knock down eight iron. It's eating it up. The crowd likes it. Oh, stop. Yeah, it's just gobble. Very short. Now, well, Michael.
Another opening. That was his pitching wedge. Oh. Both players having trouble getting him back there, Jack. Uh, good look at this gallery that has stayed with them. Crossing the bridge that leads up the 18th. Now Fred Couples for par. Right around 40 feet uphill. It's a three-stroke lead. It's got the speed right. It's trying to finish. Now to Michael, and he needs to make this putt. This is for par. And to get within two. Right. Now for bogey. Oh. Michael now at one over through 17 holes. Now Fred for bogey. Oh. Uh oh. Well, well, well. Double bogey for Frederick. And now it's a two shot difference after 17 holes. Michael Campbell, one over. Fred Couples, one under. The 18th, the home hole. Uphill, 539 yards, par five. Well, maybe something will happen here. Two shots separating the two players. Michael Campbell on the tee. And once again, he's got the driver. Well done. God, he's hanging tough, Jack. That's perfect. Well, just in the first cut, I think. Now, Freddie. Oh, nice hook. Same shot as 17. He's lost it way right. Oh, ho, ho. Could be in trouble. This is a par five, remember, though. Jack, he's trying to give it away. Well, they found Freddie's ball, but we don't know in what condition it's resting. So this match is still up in the air. We don't know yet who will win this beautiful trophy. Fred Couples enjoying a two-shot lead but in trouble with his tee shot. Lucky to find it, and he's lucky to be able to put the club face on the ball. And the best he can do is put it in a fairway bunker. He'll be hitting three from there. And now we pick up Michael Campbell, who will be hitting two. From 251 yards, this is his five wood. And he's hit a good one. Just off the green. I need a three here to have a chance. You never know. You never know. Golf's a funny game. How true that is, huh? Well, Freddie's got a good lie in the bunker, 148 yards. This may be the most important shot of the match. Oh, what a great shot. Very nicely done. And what a great day it's been at Quarry Cliffs with these two wonderful players. Well, thanks for coming, Fred. Are you kidding? Shh.
It was good fun. I enjoyed Thanks it. for the invitation. <laughs> Did it again sometime. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the way it's going, ship this in. <laughs> and I'll train two foot and we'll have this beast. <laughs> there you go. But it is, what a spot. Yeah. To grow up in God's country. Mm. So it comes down to the final green. Very makeable, Jack. Third shot. Oh. Oh. Gave it a good try. We have that left for birdie. Now, Freddie for birdie. <laughs> Ten feet for birdie. To go to even par. Oh, well. Oh, well. You played hard today. Okay, man. Thank you. Gave it 100% for his fellow Kiwis. Mm hmm Now, Fred Couples to win by two strokes. Yes. Thanks, Great. Mike. Enjoy, Enjoy it. Mike. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Okay. See you at Bay Hill. Yeah, definitely. All right. Mike? Thanks.